Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial. My name's Fran and today we're going to be looking at how to create an ember particle brush for your images. So a few months ago I made a tutorial on how to create rain. So we're going to use that method and we're going to apply that to this tutorial to create the embers and particles for this image. So we're going to create a brand new document here. So we're going to go file new A4 create going to fill this with black. I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. Make sure you're on these settings here. Click OK. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I would choose four for this. You're going to go to the levels adjustment layer here and we're going to just bring back the whites and the blacks just to bring out some of the, the elements here which are going to be our particles. So it's about just playing with this levels adjustment just to get the particles that we want. So I'm probably going to go for something that looks like that. I'm going to flatten this actually and we're going to invert this because we want the particles to be black so it's going to look something like that now it's not only perfect everyone's image is going to be different um, but that's basically what particles are they aren't all the same they're not replicated they're not repeating patterns they're all various values and looks so once you've done that, we're just going to erase some of the edges. So I'm going to get a white brush here. Make sure you're on 100% opacity. I'm just going to take away some of the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect. might even change the opacity a little bit and just go into the image a little bit. So something like that, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just so that we can get rid of the harsh edge around there. So we're going to go to edit, define pattern, let's call this particles, click OK. So we'll come back to our main image here. I'm going to grab the brush that we just created in the brush window here. And we're going to click on this button here, which is the settings for the brush. So this is the preview window here. And as we change things, that will move as well. So we can have a look at what we're doing. A little bit of scattering here and then click on build up as well. Okay, get a brand new layer. I'm going to start with some smaller particles to begin with. So zoom into your image and just add a few small particles around. Doesn't have to be perfect. So something like that. Create another brand new layer. We're going to bump the size up to 5,000. And we're just going to add a few more there. Create another layer and add some more. Okay, so this is going to be small, medium, large. So turn those off. So, what we're going to do first is add some glow to the particles. So I'm going to click on a small layer, go to effects and outer glow. Okay and I want a colour that's similar to what we've got here so there's already fire in the image so you want an orange a tone that's similar to what you've already got there and you can just have a play around with the effects here and the size and the spread and I've gone for those settings there. 
click OK. Go to the medium layer, again FX, outer glow. And have a play around with that as well. It's looking cool, click OK. And then the large one, we're actually going to enlarge this. Oops. Turn those off so we can see what we're doing. And we go to effects again. Okay, click OK. And I'm actually going to duplicate that one. And I'm going to enlarge it again. And we'll come back to that layer in a second. So I'm going to turn that one off. With the rest of them, I'm going to put masks on them and then we're just going to erase anything that we don't want. So brand new mask on there. Make sure you have a soft edge brush at 100%. Bring down the size of the brush just a little bit there. Go to the medium one there. Again, put a mask on that. Then you get the large layer. Again, pop a mask on that one. And then with the top layer, I'm just going to add a bit of motion blur. So you come to filter, blur, motion blur, something like that. Click OK. And then I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise, and add just a little bit of noise, maybe one or two pixels, just so it blends into the image. Pop a mask on that one. And then I'm going to erase some of what I don't need. With something like this, it is really about personal preference and taste. I might have gone too far, um, there might not be enough. It depends what you think and what it is that you need to add to your image and if it fits and sits well. So you can add as many particles as you want or only have a few subtle elements there. It really is up to you. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been an awesome tutorial. I've really enjoyed doing this one. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like. I would really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's completely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me and see some of my latest work at Photoshop Fran. Thank you so much for joining me again. As always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.